So on this day in 2004, there was a rather exciting game at White Hart Lane. Hello, my name is Richard and welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, which features everything to do with Arsenal. In this video, I just want to look back on this day in 2004 uh, when Arsenal won an amazing game 5-4 um, at White Hart Lane. Just before I do that, I just want to make sure you are subscribing to my channel. If you like what I do, please click on the subscribe button down in the corner there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up as well. If you've got any comments at all about this game, were you there? Uh, what are your memories of it all? Um, please drop them in the comments box below as I do love to hear from you guys as well. So coming into this game then, Arsenal had lost just one of their previous 52 league matches. Of course, that was the game at Manchester United um, three weeks previously that had, of course, brought to the end the 49 match unbeaten run. Um, but Arsenal had only drawn actually their, their two games um, since then. Um, at home to West Bromwich Albion and Southampton. Um, but Arsenal were on a good run against Tottenham, actually. They were unbeaten in their previous 10 meetings in all competitions, um, which was six wins and four draws. Although Arsenal hasn't actually won away at White Hart Lane in their previous five. That was going back to May 1999, um, and that was four draws and one defeat. Um, that defeat, of course, happened in November 1999, and that was the last time that Arsenal had actually lost to Tottenham. Now, across the other side of North London, Tottenham were having a few um, problems, shall we say. They'd actually lost their previous four league matches. They'd lost five of their last six, and they'd actually lost their last three at home as well. A couple of weeks before, um, manager Jacques Santini had left, uh, and Martin Yole had come in. And this was going to be actually Martin Yole's um, first match in charge. Of course, what usually happens when a new manager comes in, the team get a big lift. So this was no way was this going to be um, a straightforward victory for Arsenal. And I say they hadn't actually won at White Hart Lane for quite a while anyway. Um, this is how the teams lined up on this particular day. Um, if we start with the Tottenham team. In goal was Robinson. They had a back four. It was um, Paramount, Nabet, King and Edmund. Not many famous names there really, was there, from, from Tottenham's history, apart from maybe Ledley King. A uh, midfield day, was, it was Pedro Mendes, Brown, Carrick and Ziegler. And up front, they had Keane and Defoe. Um, so that was a Tottenham team. The Arsenal team, of course, was... Um, almost at full strength, the invincible team in it, all its glory. Um, so in goal was Jens Lehmann. The back four was Lauren, Torre, Pascal Segan and Cole. Um, of course, uh, Sol Campbell was injured, um, unfortunately, at this particular time. So he couldn't return again to White Hart Lane. Uh, in the midfield, it was Lundberg, Vieira, Fabregas and Reyes. And up front, Bergkamp and Henri. I mean, what a great Arsenal side that was. Um, fantastic, wasn't it? So the unbeaten run, the 49 games had, had only just come to an end. Um, and this was probably uh, one of the greatest sides in the history of football, let alone in Arsenal's history. What a talented team that was. Um, fantastic side. Um, and just, just reading out them names there, it makes you wish we had a similar team these days, doesn't it, really? So on to the match then, and as expected, Tottenham did start pretty well, um, you know, with a new manager coming in. Uh, they were obviously keen to impress him and they did take the lead. It was in th 37 minutes in. It was a free kick from Michael Carrick. Um, Colo Torre misjudged the flight of the ball. It fell to Nabet and his left foot volley um, went into the corner. In fact, it could have been 2-0 soon afterwards. Uh, it was almost an own goal from Vieira, actually, but Lehmann made a great save um, just to keep it a 1-0. Um, and Tottenham had dominated much of the first half, actually, and it was quite a, against the run of play when Thierry Henry brought Arsenal level right on the stroke of half-time. It was Lauren who played the ball through um, and Thierry Henry took a touch, um, cool as usual, um, and just slotted the ball past Robinson to make it 1-1 at half-time. That completely changed the game, actually. Arsenal came out in the second half looking a lot more dangerous um, and we scored twice in five minutes to take control. The first goal, it was a penalty 55 minutes in. It was uh, some really terrible Tottenham defending initially actually led to the led to the penalty. And in the end, it was um, Paramount that fouled Lundberg in the penalty area. 
Um, and Lauren, um, as he tended to do in these games, stepped up and coolly slotted home from the spot to put Arsenal in front. Um, and then five minutes later, it was 3-1. Um, again, it was more terrible defending from Tottenham, actually. Patrick Vieira burst through from halfway, um, wasn't really challenged and was able to slot the ball past Robinson to make it 3-1. And at that stage, it looked as though Arsenal were going to go on and win this game quite comfortably. But that's not quite how it turned out. Almost immediately, Jermaine Defoe pulled a goal back. Arsenal maybe slightly switched off having scored and Defoe was able to run through and slot the ball home. But the chances of a Tottenham comeback didn't seem to last very long. The 69th minute, Arsenal scored a fourth goal. It was Lundberg who got it, but it was a fantastic reverse pass from Fabregas um, that set the chance up. Um, but again, the Tottenham came back once again. The 74th minute, they made it 4-3. It was a header from Ledley King from another Carrick free kick. Um, but Arsenal seemed to have settled their nerves and sealed the points um, nine minutes from time. Um, substitute Robert Perez, who of course had scored in this fixture at White Hart Lane for the previous three seasons, did so again. He showed really quick feet inside the box um, before beating Robertson at the near post uh, to make it 5-3. And that surely had sealed the victory. But no, once again, Tottenham came back two minutes from time. It was one of their substitutes as well, Canute, who got the goal. It was actually a mistake from Thierry Henry. Um, Canute took advantage and ran through to score uh, to make it 5-4. Actually, nine different scorers as well. Uh, an unbelievable game. Um, and that was the way it finished. Arsenal managed to hold on for the victory. So Martin Yole's Tottenham career started as it would carry on, really, with a defeat. The attendance that day at White Hart Lane was actually 36,095. And the referee was Steve Bennett. So Arsenal, of course, won this game, um, got back on winning ways following, um, I say, three games without a win in the Premier League after the defeat to Manchester United. But it wasn't going to be enough to retain the title, unfortunately. Although Arsenal finished top scorers in the league with 83 goals, um, it was Chelsea who ran away with the title. Of course, they broke all records that season with the least amount of goals conceded and the most points with 95. Um, and Arsenal had to settle for second place. Although, of course, we did win the FA Cup. Um, of course, that was against Manchester United on penalties, wasn't it? If you remember that game at the Millennium Stadium, a very poor Arsenal performance. Um, but Arsenal did manage to win the FA Cup. But in the league, um, it was disappointment in the end. Arsenal could only finish second behind Jose Mourinho's Chelsea. As for Tottenham, they, they sort of recovered. They finished in mid-table, pretty much par for the course for them at that time. Um, so that's a little video there. So I just wanted to look back on this day in 2004, uh, where I say we did have a great victory at White Hart Lane. And I say it does make you now um, sort of think back to those days and, and wish we had a team that was even half as good as this team. Because they were amazing, wasn't they? And of course, this was to be in the final season, really, where we would really be considered challengers for the Premier League. The following season was our last season at Highbury, uh, where we only finished fourth in the league, but we did reach the Champions League final. And then, of course, came the move to the Emirates and the steady decline to basically where we are now. So that's that video then. I hope you like that. A few memories there, maybe from slightly um, happier days, certainly exciting, more exciting days to watch Arsenal anyway. Um, let's hope that those days are um, going to return very soon. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. I say if you like my channel, please subscribe there down in the corner. Um, coming up tonight, of course, is um, the fifth edition of the Positive Arsenal podcast. Some really great guests coming on tonight. So tune in for that. It's seven o'clock tonight on this channel. So it's going to be really exciting. Good, good show. Lots to discuss. We're going to be looking back on the Aston Villa game and seeing where we, you know, where things have gone wrong and where we need to improve and looking ahead to some of our tough fixtures that we've got coming up after the international break. And also as well, looking back on the England game last night, a uh, fantastic performance from our very own Bakayo Saka as well. So we'll be talking all that stuff as well. We're going to try and put a positive spin on it as much as we can. It's not easy at the moment, but we will. We'll look for the positives. So join us from seven o'clock tonight. And of course, in the meantime, as always, come on, you gunners.